Uh, if you're just joining us, this is the Polity, a program that focuses on attention and dwells extensively on unfolding political events within Nigeria and even beyond the shores of the country. My name is Macaulay Honohashi. You're welcome back. Uh, joining me in the studio is a veteran journalist and a lecturer with uh, the Nigerian International Institute of Journalism. Uh, he's no other person than Maxwell Esebe. Maxwell, you're welcome to the Polity. Yeah, very privileged to be here again. Maxwell, I must tell you that we don't take your presence for granted. Anytime we, uh, we, we, we invite you, you always hit to our call to be a part of uh, this program. And you have all your contributions have always been so incisive. Yeah. Let's start with a do state. Uh, Nigerian political firmament is uh, rippling with a lot of, you know, cr you know um, crisis, so to speak, uh, with a particular emphasis on a do state. Edo State has been politically volatile, you know, with uh, expletives coming from politicians and, uh, um, you know, apocalyptic language. And the recent one is the, you know, attempted attack on the life of the, the just reinstated um, deputy governor of the state, Philip Shuaibu. Yes. What's your take when you heard uh, that, 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 that news? of that dastardly act against yes let's quickly look at uh, <coughs> the international principles of professional ethics in the practice of uh, journalism profession mm. number one people's right to true information why do i quote this because people has the right to know exactly what that's is right. happening that's right and that is why the issue of a do state is topical <coughs> topical in the sense that bad news constitute news mm. because if the, 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 the two, if a do state is actually, uh, is not uh, being portrayed as, uh, yes, as, 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 as bad, bad, bad yes. Yeah. you and I, most Nigerians all over the world, they will not bother they not pay attention. Pay, pay attention to a do state. So what I think the thing is, many, there are politics everywhere, but I also believe that the issue between the deputy governor and uh, the president, uh, the, uh, the governor, the governor the, it has been on for years. Mm. It has been on. Even the, the present time, when uh, Governor Baseki came as the governor of Edo State, there has been a loggerhead between two of them. So many Nigerians will not find it so surprising seeing the two having some issues along the line. Remember, before just to look, take you back. The issue between the governor of Edo State, Obaseki, and the former governor, mm -hmm. uh, Adam Oshomole. You know the issue that came up? Yes. There has always been issues, mm -hmm. there has always been crises within domain. And politics has the, a way of trying to portray either bad or good. Mm -hmm. But the way I look at it, the two parties, the two personalities involved in this crisis, they know how to resolve it. Because if I look at it holistically very well, by the time you are now busy sleeping, they are resolving their issue along the line. Okay, yeah, let me ask uh, the further question, a follow-up to that. Uh, you know, uh, with emphasis on what you said, there is no permanent friend or permanent enemy. Yes, just like a permanent uh, interest. Exactly. So, with, with that, will you, uh, you know, attribute the reason to, for Obaseki's, I'm sorry, Philip Shabu's uh, return to the old Progressive Congress because he was initially he and uh, uh, Obaseki. Obaseki were you know uh, you know were members of the old Progressive they, 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 Congress. They, 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 they come to the People's Democratic yes, Party because remember, they fell apart with their yeah. Remember their what brought about this when Shabu indicated willingness that he wants to become a governor of Edo State. Yes. And that has been the issue. Maybe Obaseki on the other side does not want him to come, or there are some majority people along the line that is support of uh, Obaseki that does not want Shaibu to come up. But I'm telling you that they have a way of resettling their cases. So many Nigerians will not be surprised seeing even uh, Shaibu and Obaseki resolving the issue when you and I are busy sleeping. Mm. So this is the way I look at it. But they have a way, mm. like Ibrahim said, like I said earlier on, there is no permanent friend. There is no There's permanent no enemy. They, they have trust. a way of resettling these cases. For instance, if at the end of the day they are out of the government, 
The two of them have a way of, of, of embracing themselves along the line. If they go outside this country and they embrace themselves, you and I would not be there. But when they come to front pages of these uh, papers, in which you and I read most of mm -hmm. the time, you see them embracing themselves, and people will attacking themselves, not knowing that yes, they have a, maybe they have a hidden agenda along the line. So I think the politics is because uh, bad news is is you know bad news constitute yeah. news, yes. and because there are some <clears throat> negative challenges uh, mandating from a do state. That is why most people are focusing attention on that side. Everybody wants to know what is happening there. Of because uh, if, for instance, there are, other, there are other states that you don't hear about them, right. but they are doing ex 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 exceptionally very well. So along the line, I think the two parties, they know what they are fighting for. So let's leave right. them to you know, fight and let most Nigerians be praying for them so that at the end of the day, there will be peace in that, in that state. Somebody will be saying they should be praying for themselves. Well, at this juncture, I want to let our viewers that our telephone line will be displayed by our producer on the screen right there uh, so that you can call to participate and make the program uh, conversational. Let me ask you, how volatile do you think our political um, space uh, has been? Because Philip Shabu got reinstated the day after he traveled to the state capital only for him to resume work as, deputy, as the reinstated deputy governor in the company of uh, Monde Okpobolo. That is the, <coughs> the governorship candidate of the all progressives candidate. And there was an attack. Yes. The, uh, a policeman was killed on the spot. And uh, how would you describe that kind of volatility in our political firmament? It's, it's, it's a terrible thing. I remember, uh, if, uh, if I can take your mind back, when uh, uh, Adam Soshimole was uh, f uh, fighting for, I think the governor he was uh, trying to, when he was trying to come back or something, mm -hmm. it was in front pages of the papers. Yeah. The people mm -hmm. were saying from a say, write your will. Write your write will. Your will. Yeah. What does uh -huh. that mean? In other words, anything can happen. Mm. So the, the thing is that the politics in Edo State is so volatile that this is not the first time we are hearing this kind of thing. But I also believe that most Nigerians should, should not be looking for a way of trying to kill themselves. You, it, 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 politics is like a sportsmanship. Everybody cannot win. Mm -hmm. That is just the truth. There must be a loser and there must be a winner. So allow God's things, God's way of bringing out things to happen. Not everybody cannot win. It's mm -hmm. just like you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are running 100 meters dash and you want everybody cannot win. There must be a winner and there must be a loser. So I don't know why people are struggling, fighting for. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, uh, Macaulay, you will agree entirely with me. Most people are not actually fighting for those who put them in that op op for, op themselves. Op mm. for themselves. Stomach infrastructure. Mm. I give you a clear example. Give during the case. national media tour, during the national media tour, we visited that in when the. Uh, when was that? That was when the. Uh, 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 Professor Jerry Gala was the minister okay. of the during your passengers regime. Yeah. I was part of the, those who that visited some of these states. You see that even there's nothing Actually, on the ground. The, the, the NUJ president was smart at the enemy. Yeah, smart at the enemy. Okay. And there was nothing really to show on the ground that, yes, that time, but there were some states you visited. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be glad. You'll be splendid that there's something on the ground. Up till that time, till now, if you visit some of these states, it's still the mm. same thing. Mm. So what are we talking about? Most people are struggling for stroke infrastructure, but in the real sense of it, they are not struggling for uh, the, the okay, those so who voted the so We have a caller. Hello, good afternoon. This is the Polity, uh, our first caller. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. Hello? Yeah, hello. We can hear you loud and clear. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. Um, well, I'm calling from Benway. From Benway. From Benway. From Benway. Benway, please. We can hear you. Go ahead. We've lost that call. I'll continue on your line of thought. So, th th this is the thing. So, I expect, like, those people decamping. A good example, ex uh, again, is those people decamping eh, from one party to another. To another. Now, there is nothing wrong, actually, 
people from the country, but what happened to those who that voted you there? Mm. Are you also the country mm. with them? So <laughs> when I give you an amendment over here, I don't want to mention names, but a prominent military leader once said, there is nothing wrong, the country. But if you are the country, those that voted you, are you also the country from them? No. What happened to those th that voted you there? Well, those that voted you are not partisans. Yeah, they have. Yeah, that's another they thing. They are not partisans. They are, so, uh, there must be, you didn't put yourself there. You didn't put yourself Yes, it was some categories of people that mm. placed you there and said you can do exceptionally very well for us. That's why you were voted there. And the campaign is a unilateral decision. Yeah, exactly. You don't even feel that. Uh -huh. So what happened? Hey guys, I'm going to the camp. I'm yes. going to that place. Okay, that takes about to to uh, cross carpeting, if I may put it that way. Yeah. It's Philip Shaibu. No sooner than he got reinstated, he reappointed some of his eight, about yes. nine of them. And then thereafter, after that attack, you know, he appeared unperturbed and... Uh, and ruffled. Yes. And, and he was and if I can call me uh, Macaulay, what has been what has been the major causes or cause of all these attacks? What, since me. since if you have been going through the papers, mm. since uh, Shaibu indicated willingness to contest, that, for, to contest for the mm. uh, presidency for the uh, state Governor presidency, mm. governorship, uh, that has been the uh, crisis. Mm. I'm sure I'm not speaking for him. I don't know him, but we read most of these stories in the new pages of the papers. I foresee a situation that since the indicator willingness that mm. he wants to become, he wants to become a uh, governor. Okay. Uh, that's the, that okay. has been okay. the current. Uh, uh, Maxwell, that has been a recurring decimal in Nigerian politics. Yes. From your own perspective or your own opinion, why do you think uh, the reason why governors don't want their deputies to succeed them? Uh, well, politics is also part of it. Many people want most of these governors. The profile outsiders. Yes, they want to be doing everything. Remember the time of Obasanjo and the the, the, the article. Yeah. You re, I, I don't I very very remember very that issue. It's, vivid. it's still yeah. very fresh, very evergreen fresh. in yeah. our reasonable faculty. Yeah. We see then that they were very good when they came in, but along the line, the issue of Obasanjo and article became fire to fire. We were mm. seeing all these things. Even a little boy can tell you with the crisis between two of them. But along the line, that has not, it has not been a, a good thing, good image for mm. this great country of ours. The same thing happening to the governor and the deputy. The power is so, uh, is so, is, is, is so tough that the moment they get there, they don't want to give opportunity to the 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 the, the, the deputy governors mm -hmm. whom they call spare tires mm -hmm. and whatever along the line so i think the, the the politics is not like that you are supposed to be doing the work together mm -hmm. and to make the state move forward because one person cannot single handedly do that thing it's just like you have a broom you have one broomstick no broomstick cannot sweep uh, the room mm -hmm. it is when you put them together so uh, the moment these two parties, these two personalities are there, you can work together, build an idea, innovation, that this one will support or disagree, and then move on. You disagree to agree, not agree to disagree. Mm. That is the point we are making here. Okay, now um, there have been accusations and counter accusations yes. following the attack at the airport. And that attack happened just you know, by the exit gate of the um, Edo uh, Benin Airport. Yes. And, um, you know, gunmen were said to have arrived with a Siena stationed there mm. and then opened fire and a policeman died. And uh, Shabu has accused the state gov government of sponsoring that killing and there has been a denial um, by the state government. What's the political implication of this back and forth accusation? It, it, is, it is bad. It is very bad. It's a sign of uh, uh, no, no, no peace, in that, not just in that state, in anywhere such a thing is happening. Because you can't expect, and in fact, as a matter of fact, there's nothing, there, 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 there must not be anything to hurt the, the governor, the deputy governor, or whatever. Mm. Then what is, the, what is the state of uh, uh, peace in that state? Mm. What is the state of making, what is the essence of politics? You are supposed to agree and disagree. Not disagree, uh, not agree to disagree. Agree. That's the point. 
So we, I, I think the, the two parties should find a way of mending fences and make this state forward. Now, now, what do you, what, what do you think if these things are happening and then what do you expect those who voted them in to those people within the uh, territory, what will happen to them? Mm -hmm. Most people will be afraid. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to make sure that you provide the amenities, give them those that voted you into mm -hmm. power, mm -hmm. all the necessary uh, whatever. Now, if you are doing this to those uh, those who are supposed to be governing those in that state, okay. then we'll what is the essence? We we'll have a caller, uh, Maxwell. Um, good afternoon. Uh, this is the polity, your own place, your name, and where you're calling from. Okay, Buche, go ahead with your comment and contribution. Yeah, I like the program you guys are doing and uh, it's very educated. Thank you. The, the issue in uh, those states is a very turbulent one. Because the power that we don't want those that have uh, grant to enjoy the policy. Like the policeman killed this man, he's from Kobe, he's living in a battle with the Okay. He's from Azili. He's a very young promising in I know him very well. We met in the village of Batman. Hmm. But for me to saw the things of this, I even saw a report. It devastated me. Mm. The government has to do something reasonable to make sure people are carried along. The police. The power ultimately uh got on Baseki and everything, the back and front in those days is not happening. So you go ahead and do what is expected of them to do so that there's no use police as that the social lab. Okay. And starting with the death of that young man. Okay. And government has to do something to help the family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Oguche from uh, Abakiliki. He's of the view that <coughs> the political space is becoming more turbulent. Yes, that's right. And what, I feel so like sorry, I feel yeah. sorry for the police officer, a young man. He said he knows him very well. Yes. That lost his life. And uh, that brings me to the question of safety of the uh, security agents. More often than not, when there are, there are attacks on politicians, the politicians, you know, uh, uh, you know, survive and they are on scarf but the security of, of officials end up losing their lives that goes to the fact that they are not well protected they don't have bulletproof vehicles yes. perhaps only one bulletproof vehicle will be made available and that is the one that will take the vip what's the take on that must you even get bulletproof car to protect yourself when rolling is i want you to answer that question but that will be after this caller uh, you're, you're, you're welcome to the quality this afternoon on Kaftan uh, TV I, from Abuja. You are not pleased, sir? It's good uh, to view your hair. I'm very from the free-to-air satellite and very around here. Thank okay. you for your effort. Okay, thank you. Sir. I know what you are discussing at the moment. I'm from a two-stage. Okay. Uh, my name is Lucky. Okay. Lucky. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Yeah, we are, we are here on the okay, could you turn down the volume of your TV set? Yes, yes. That's a beeping sound. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, so, we, it's rather unfortunate that um, we are seeing all of this in a dual state. Where we are supposed to be governed, and we have chosen our governor to govern us, to give us uh, all the, the things for all of us to be happy. But the past is the case, anyway. Mm. And that is not what we are, we are arguing here. What, why, why should we want to take someone's life because of politics? If you have the, you know, uh, uh, choosing to lead the, the state, you've done so for the past eight years, and you are a bad leader, and somebody is aspiring to take over from you, why this, you know, trouble? Yeah. Uh, my brother, I don't see the need for the trouble that we are going through. It's just a, a, a very, very selfish and uh, self-centered uh, behavior that they are all putting up. And to be honest with you, uh, all of this fight is for their own selfish interest. It's not for the masses. Hmm. That's the truth. Just like I said. Uh, the the, the Shwaibo himself, the, the so called governor, they, they've been together for, for close to eight years now. They were doing extremely well oh. you know, from, yes. from, from the inception. Yes. But of late, <laughs> their friendship got far and uh, it, it takes us to where we are today. But what I have to say in this regard is that it doesn't worth it for mm -hmm. you to take talks or to do whatever you know, are doing to endanger people's life. Just look at that young man that lost, it's like the policeman. I know the wife and the children, they, they 
is they will be going through turbulence times mm. by now. And we all know the way Nigeria is. Once you don't die, you don't come out. Mm. Nobody cares about your family. And I just say that his case will not be, you know, will not will not be like that. Mm. I, I just want to say that all of these things we are doing, it doesn't really, it doesn't worth it. Okay. We shouldn't take that that post like because of our own selfish interest. Mm. You know, in fact, if you really have the intention of serving the people, would you want to put you know the same people's life on you know on, on the line? We don't want to endanger. that. Okay, look, just think of and you know the guns that we are shooting. If the, if that you know if 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 we have, if we have, if we have some populists standing around there or doing their business around there, then a straight bullet go to be hit them. Mm. Then what purpose are purpose are you being serving as a governor or as a opposition or whatever thing you call yourself? Mm. So my brother, I don't know. I just pray that whatever we are saying, we get to this. Because sometimes I feel that whatever we are saying in all of this media, whatever, doesn't get to this. Mm. And that's what I feel. Because you, you don't, you don't, no remorse, no changes. Things are getting bad every day. They continue to do the worst every day. So okay. I want to say that, I just pray that every father will help us, God will help us to, mm. to be able to come, come out of all of these things, be better people, and have a better government that will lead us, and that will think of us, not themselves. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you very much for your, for thank, your program thank you, and uh, thank, good talking to you. Thank you so yes. very much, Lucky from Edo State. He has read, uh, raised a Just very, like I said, very yeah, important yeah. topic. He, in, fact, in addition to what you said, he said yes. he feels so sorry for the young man that lost his life. Yes. He has uh, <coughs> a wife and children. And, you know, the, 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 the worst part of it is that he said nothing will happen again because they will look the other way. The man has lost his life. In, yes. You know, in, and uh, nobody will take duty. care of the children. Mm. That's the truth. Okay, we have another caller. Hello, good afternoon. This is the polity. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Your name, sir, and where you're calling from? Yeah, I'm Gideon. Gideon? I'm Gideon. From Lagos? Yeah. I'm a just in anyway. You, you're calling from where? I'm calling from Lagos. From Lagos. I think you're a regular caller. Yeah. Gideon, go yeah. ahead with your comments, sir. It's a pleasure. Yeah, my advice to this program is to the people of the two states. Go ahead. They should not be used for their policies. Because at the end of it all, it's we people of the two states that suffer it. Because there's nothing on the table from the government and for the of two states. If you travel from beneath, <coughs> beneath to our chief, there's no road. Hmm. There's nothing to write about. And the same uh, uh, the deputy governor was 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 on seat before he was impeached. And the governor, seat, the city governor, cannot say this is my uh, deputy governor. Let me put this uh, road is from uh, that that uh, lo uh, locality. But there's nothing to write about. Mm. If you go to some 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 local government in that area. The workers of local government, they are still going there up to three, four months. Hmm. Salary that they are not being paid. And yet, why, why, are they, why are they fighting for these people? They should not, they should not be, they should not allow themselves to be used for the mm -hmm. upcoming election. They should go to the police station and vote. Because technically, this fight that is on the ground now, they are preparing the youth to be used. And they said they are removed, they are, they, they are trying to remove all this consciousness from a just thing. Mm. And definitely these people that have a counter with the DFC government, they are not conscious, they are not a just state youth. According to, uh, according to the, uh, the uh, government, uh, government Shaibu claims that it's all this land. And it's true. It's all this land that have access to this arm. That can come out in the in the day in the broad daylight to start exchanging firing with the policemen. So why why are they clamoring for state police? That is how the state police they are going to use the state police mm. against themselves. Okay. So the, the federal mm. government should think thoroughly. Okay. Before they, they implement that state police. Now they are using vigilante. What about the people control of the state police? It will be disastrous. Okay. So we are not mature for that state police. But we are just we are just saying uh, we are mature for state police. But we, we, 
we are going to use them for the, our selfish end. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gideon, for that. Uh, you know, for that incisive uh, contribution. Just like Do you know what Gideon said? What Gideon is of the view that now that you know vigilantes are at the, at the disposal of uh, you know politicians and they use them yes. within their whims and caprices, how much more if they have full and total control of state police? Oh, state police. That would be mayhem. Uh, yes. Don't, do you t what do you think? I, I agree. I agree entirely with him. But then. Uh, would the state government agree with the, the, with what the, that, that idea he raised? They agree. Yeah, they will not. Mm. That is just the problem. That just before he, he, that call came in, I was saying that do we do they even need bullet food, uh, bullet uh, proof cars yeah, yeah, for yeah. these things? In some, for instance, I was given an example of Ghana. Mm. I was in Ghana, 82, 83, 84. When Rollins was the when first came in. He was he he, he he sits in front of uh, uh, the, the, the the car. He the driver in front of the driver. No other car follows him. Mm. I know they will say the most people will say Ghana is a small country. It doesn't matter. In South Africa, when Rollins came in, how many bulletproof cars were following him mm. for four years? He, he, he ruled in South Africa. Those are some of the things we need to take you to consideration. We, 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 so we had a military uh, head of state who tried that in Nigeria and he lost his life. He lost his life. Yeah, but then it's because we moment. are so volatile. Mm. Because the politics is... Because you can't compare the, the politics here with other countries of the world. Because mm -hmm. we believe that everybody is struggling to make sure that it becomes there. Because they believe that politics is the only way out to make money and resources mm. and materials. Otherwise, what is the essence of fighting? Mm -hmm. Like what is happening in Edo State mm -hmm. at the moment? Okay, we have copied our democracy from uh, America. America is regarded and uh, you, know, you know as the bastion of democracy yeah. all, all over. But there, you know, you see people, you know, uh, identifying with, with with political parties, making it look like an institution for decades. Someone will remain in a political party. For instance, the Republican. Um, party or the Democratic Party based on ideological bent. But here in Nigeria, we don't have ideological we bent. Don't, uh, we don't we just cross cap it. We just yes. tomorrow. The same the people, same people roaming all over the place. Exactly. Shabu moved from the uh, uh, All Progressive Congress, the, the, the ruling party at the center now, to the PDP. Now he has moved from PDP to APC. What does that portend? You know, if we not back infrastructure, there is nothing even wrong staying in your party for long. Mm. The most important thing, let the dividends of democracy delivered to those that voted you in. Okay. But the, the reverse is most of the time the case. Mm. And if you know that party does not favor you, that is the time you start moving mm -hmm. to another party, the campaign. And at the end of the day, those that voted you, you will not remember them any longer. Mm. I was giving you an example of the media tour. If you go to some states, I don't want to be specific about a particular state. Mm. If you go to some states, the same state, the same model, they are five years, six, seven years ago, is still the same model. The world have not changed. The betterment of the life of the people that voted you have not changed. The houses and whatever have not changed. The rural areas, whatever, have not changed. So what are we talking about? Mm. And the essence of you being there is to make sure you provide, protect, direct, guide, provide the amenities for those people to enjoy. Mm. But the reverse is the case. No, um, actually, I've heard many people, uh, you know, opine that... Uh, Following the reinstatement of uh, Philip Shaibu yes. by Honorable Justice Omotosho, mm. that Philip Shaibu was very, very hasty yes. in his decision to resume as deputy governor. That was the reason why he traveled to Edo State to resume. Yes. And uh, do you share the same view? Because knowing fully well that the acrim money, the lingering acrim money between yes. him and uh, Obaseki yes. has not, uh, w has not uh, waned, but he decided to resume work in government house. Yes. What's your view on that? Uh, uh, there, there, there's nothing wrong with resuming, really. There's nothing. But there has been, there has been some row, or let me say political row, mm. or crisis 
or some challenges between two of them. Mm. I told you earlier on, I think the major problem is the time Shaibu indicated willingness to become, well, they were, they were, they were friends, were they were colleagues, and they were related very well. You can see the pages of the papers, two of them, you know, chatting, laughing, yeah. and whatever. There was harmony. Yes, there was harmony. But suddenly, the crisis just uh, uh, came in within them. And then, this one doesn't like this, and this one doesn't like this. And I gave a clear example of what happened between Adam Soshimole and Obaseki that time. Mm. They, were, they were very friendly. They were close. I remember even uh, 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 Obaseki uh, decided to give a Christmas uh, present to Adam Soshimole. Remember? I do, he I rejected it. Mm. He said it. And they were friends along the line. What was the problem? It's a, some a crisis within two of them. And uh, I, I, I don't think this is, is, it is, it is, it is possible, it, it, is, it is good for politics. Because if you are doing this, what will happen to those you are trying to protect? You are trying to direct. You are trying to uh, move together. You build, <laughs> you don't build machine. You build people and be able to move them together. It is when you move them together that people will understand that this is our leaders. But the way things are, it appears, uh, you know, crisis has becoming uh, too, uh, too uh, 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 pronounced okay. within the two personalities. And then, now, how do you want people to take you into consideration and know that, yes, what you are doing for us now is good? Uh, so, uh, Maxwell, we have been in the trenches of uh, the journalistic profession for decades, so, and we are, we, are, we are currently a lecturer teaching the profession, imparting so much knowledge. So, yeah, which makes places you in a better position to answer this question. Um, uh, the attempt on the life of Trump in America mm. and the gaffe made by, you know, the, the, the president, Joe Biden, and the COVID that he contracted, you know, that led to his, you know, stepping aside and endorsing Kamala Harris, has, you know, disrupted the political dynamics of the American political trajectory. People say, observers of political events say, same thing may play out in a door state as a macrocosm of the entire bigger picture <coughs> of the country. Now, do you believe that the attack on Obaseki, I'm sorry, on Philip Shaibu, and his, his uh, you know, dumping of the ruling party in the state and moving to the old progress congress can change the political dynamics, you know, moving to the elections in September. Now, let's quickly look at the international principles of professional ethics in the practice of journalism profession. Right. Number nine, number ten or number ten, elimination of war. Okay. There should be no, there should be no crisis mm. in whatever. You are supposed to move people along. You are supposed to create a kind of harmony. Okay. You are supposed to create peace within the society, within the nation, and within the state, wherever you belong. So those trying to play politics, to remove the life of a particular person, because, how do I call it, is a, a, a cry, a, a maybe an obstacle mm, or an hurdle to them, does not, does not warrant it. Okay. Even a maker, God, whether you are a Muslim or a Christian, does not warrant mm. it. So we expect, most Nigerians, either in America mm. or here, expect that there should be synergy, there should be peaceful in everywhere we belong. Okay, we know the power of incumbency in Nigeria. Uh, uh, Gunu Obaseki is the current governor. Yes, exactly. And that is PDP. Uh, yeah, PDP. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Philip Shoebu has moved to the All Progressive Congress to join Opobolo, Monday Opobolo, yes. the flag bearer for the election coming up in uh, September. September. Do you see any disruption? In the PDP camp, with this thing that is happening, yes, if if uh, there, may, there there may be disruption with this crisis now, because people will be astonished. Okay, that is that is one thing, astonishment. Yeah, yeah, people will be afraid, and those who are really earnestly waiting to 
support either the uh, Shaibu or not, they will be they will be afraid and begin to wonder: mm. Will this will this create c some kind of harmony for the party mm. and whatever? And people will be wondering, uh, even when they get there, how are they sure that there will be peace within the two parties mm. involved? Okay. So these are some of the things why we believe that why most Nigerians believe that they should find a way of settling their crisis within themselves so that it will provide peaceful harmony for people they are governing. This is the way I look at it. Mm. That is just the truth. Okay, there are interests from both sides of the divide. Just like we have hidden economics. Yes. What would you say, in addition to the interest of installing a governor that may succeed him, what would you say is the hidden, you know, interest of Obaseki? Is, 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 is it about uh, control? Is it about, you know, control after he has left office? Or is it about ego? Or is it about... I, I may not be... Becoming uh, a godfather, uh, political godfather? Macaulay, no. I will not be surprised at the end of the day when the current uh, incumbent governor of Edo State leaves finally, mm. there will be reconciliation between him and Shaibu. Okay. I will not be surprised. Okay. Look at because there is no permanent. Yes. Anyway. Look at look at what happened. Uh, b there was crisis between Obaseki and uh, uh, Adam Sushimole. Yeah. Now, after a while, after uh, uh, Adam Sushimole left, he said it was a great mistake. <coughs> it yeah. was a great mistake, mistake. fighting his fellow bro uh, brother Obaseki. Mm. That there is need for reconciliation now. Why? What were you doing all this while? Were, were, were you not? Were you? Were, were you thinking otherwise mm. that you were fighting, creating problems within the two parties? Is it now you will make, uh, you want to make reconciliation? These are some of the things. Wh what I, I I foresee that may happen between Obaseki and Shaibu at the end of the day, when Obaseki must have eventually vamoose mm. the state uh, capital mm. as the as the state uh, governor. Somebody, one of the callers, did a very ask a very salient question: though. Why must people kill for political office? Yes, why? That is, we, we analyze that. Why must mm. people kill? You are not supposed to kill. You want to offer service? Yeah. Hey. And then you are, you are you are you are sponsoring thugs to create mayhem. And the major the major problem, my colleague, is that mm. many people kill to make sure to give sp open space for those of them who wants to come into the office by force. Mm -hmm. uh, and Nelson mm -hmm. Mandela was was in uh, South Africa. He was the president. After he was released 27 years in jail, he became the president of South Africa. And then the, the people won't see him to come back. Mm -hmm. He said capital no. Yeah. How many of them will be able to do it in he his country? He said one time. He, he said one time. Mm -hmm. Four years. That's what he will do. And people were earnestly looking back. You would ask him to come. He bluntly refused, said, No mm. way, he can't come back. But in this country, even when they, I've never seen, I stand to be corrected, I've never seen uh, people saying, Okay, we want you back. We want you back. Those, in, those, those people there, they want to force themselves to become uh, the leader. And mm. it should not be so. Okay. It should not be so. Like I said earlier, you build people. You don't build mansion. It is when you build people, people will know, yes, that you are ready to serve. And not you making yourself mandatory that you must become mm. the, 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 the leader. Uh, the, the day uh, Philip Shabu was received when he decamped to the All Progressive Congress, the atmosphere, you know, the ambience was that of, you know, um, uh, you know was replayed with conviviality. Mm. so to speak and uh there was dancing and he appeared unruffled and unperturbed mm. what did you you know you know uh, deduce from that is is the, 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 if you look at it uh, it was a parochial uh, idea okay yes uh, parochial, a parochial narrow idea narrow. why do i mean by narrow mm. idea many people actually may not support him that time Okay. Yeah, time. This is the way I look at it. Mm. Uh, may not support it that time, but in the real sense of it, uh, you see, some people will. If if you are doing the right thing, eh, uh, very many people will support you. 
But at the end of the day, there may be black leg mm. along the line that may not support exactly what you are doing. It is when you get there, they will find a way to remove that person mm. out. And it should not be so. Politics is not do or die. Mm. That is the truth. It's not do or die. Those, if you want to rule, you come and people that voted you do what you are supposed to do. And at the end of the day, the dividends of democracy is not being delivered to mm. the people that voted you mm. there. But that is, if you take a statistics of it, exactly. Macaulay, yeah. you know what I'm talking I do, about. I do, I do. They, do, they don't. That's right. They don't. And, you know, and it should not be so. I mean, when you said police is doing a draw, that it reminded me of uh, the, the, the catchphrase by yes. Willow Jonathan. It's not even a catchphrase, okay, a platitude. Yeah. And he said, his ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian. Of any Nigerian. Yes. Yeah? So, Look, I, I gave you an example of what happened in Ghana several years back. When Rollins came, he executed all the three uh, uh, leaders in that state. So you want that to I'm, happen in Nigeria? No, I'm not saying it should happen. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it should happen. But he said Ghana was dying of blood okay. because those people that were there have looted yes. the country. And the torture community we have, were not happy about we have, them. We have but but today, they are yeah. happy. Because the man was able to sanitize that place. Mm -hmm. We don't pray for such a thing to happen. Before such a thing can happen, we should be able to yeah. do ourselves yeah. the, the better made part of it. So that mm -hmm. many people will enjoy what, what those our leaders are talking about. Nobody wants to mm -hmm. eliminate anybody. Yeah. But the truth of the matter, what is happening in Edo State now, is becoming unbearable mm -hmm. for okay. most people. Okay. Many people believe that, ah, you should not be, you should, you, I gave you a clear example of what happened several years back. When Adam Oshimole was fighting for, you know, fighting for, was uh, trying to rule, it was in front pages of the papers. Write your will. Must you do that? No. Yes. Not. Write your will. In other words, ready to do or do or die. Okay. Talking about do or die. Yes. The last call I get on the call from Lagos uh, admonished young people because they constitute the largest demographics. And most, more often than not, you know, in political crisis, there are the cannon fodder yeah. that, you know, politicians use to foment trouble and cause mayhem. Uh, what's your take on that? He, he admonished them to eschew violence, not to even listen to politicians when they come giving them, you know, handouts for them to foment trouble. Those who are responsible should not do that. The youth that are responsible should not do that. Even those, those that are bringing their, their, their uh, how do I put it, those who are fomenting trouble, they should know where they belong. Mm. Why can't those uh, uh, leaders, you know, those who are, you know, planting evil, why can't they bring their children? Okay. Why can't they bring, yes. why why can't they bring their children to do mm. that? Rather, most what we understand the front pages of the papers is they go and hire some group of people and put them in the front. Maybe give them certain amount of money mm. that will cause uh, head mayhem, mm. that will cause problem, and it should not be so. Okay, we are, we are responsible people in this country. We expect that we are. They, 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 we say we are giant of uh, uh, Africa, so we should prove beyond reasonable doubt that we are really giant and be able to do what we are supposed to do. If a politician of that stature can be so exposed and be so vulnerable mm. to the extent that there was an attack on him in the company of you know a candidate, a governorship candidate for an election that is just by the corner and the policeman lost his life, if there can be that terrible, then what does it tell about our vulnerability as Nigerians? In it, terms it, of is, it is terrible. It is terrible. What is it? What, why, in the, let, Marconi, let me first ask you. Ask me. Why must, why must even the issue of eliminating those who are supposed to guide uh, people? I think why it was it? Yeah, it so. was three bullet. Yes. yes. Why? Because it was a victim of. Yes. Uh, why must it, 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 it should never happen? Mm. It's because the people are so dying. People are so so desperate. Desperado, they want to be there. Now, you know, it's some of the agencies are still on the manhunt of those that took, uh, you know, carried out the, that action. Yes. What does it also tell you about swiftness or lack of it, of, you know, arresting perpetrators of evil yes those who are those who are caught should be dead with a, 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 a in the real sense well, of what does it tell you they have not been caught 
uh, if they have been caught then let them let them do justice to them mm. yes yeah? let them do justice to them because uh, the almighty god doesn't allow you can't create mm. you can create a, a life i can't create it it's only mm. god so why must you take the one uh, person's life because of one uh, uh, power or the other okay people are so hungry for power they want by all means to make sure they get there and it should not be so well, uh, well, our last caller, Gideon, also did say that he, he alleged, that is his words, is mm. not my opinion, that uh, industrial you know, workers are being owed between three to four months' salary. Salary. And then that is not the focus now to settle the salary. The focus is how to win election. What does it tell you? <coughs> they should, they, 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 why must they even withhold the workers of salary in the first place? Why must they? They should pay them. If, if workers are doing their work well, then they should pay their, their, their salaries. It's in the Bible. Mm. Uh -huh. You should pay. Once a worker is able to do his job well, he should be able to. But uh, is one of his Yes, exactly. But we, we saw it in front pages of the papers that the governor said he's not owing anybody any uh, he said salary. So. The governor said so. Yes, he, he said so. He, he, has even, he said he has even mm. increased the national minimum wage to 70,000. To 70, We've been that for the past four, five months or so. Exactly. Yeah. So even uh, while the label yes, is legal. I think those facts should be should be cross checked yeah, properly. Right, right. Yes, because yeah, the man said he is not anybody. Yeah. And I remember a uh, those state is one of those states that prove re uh, uh, beyond reasonable doubt that uh, they they will adhere strictly to what the Nigerian Labour Congress, mm -hmm. the Trade Union Congress, were fighting for. Yes. Uh -huh. Before this, uh, yes, they, they said yeah. they are ready to pay that money. And that is the it's like uh, inadvertently he pecked, yes. uh, you know, the, the wage yes. um, increment. And you remember, they were the first set of states, too, that increased from 18,000 to 30,000 naira. Okay, yes, after that, they increased it to about 70,000 naira now. Well, on that note, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll move straight to the United States of America, the bastion of democracy, to take a look at, um, you know, uh, reactions following the um, decision by the President uh, Joe Biden to step aside and endorse his Vice President Kamala Harris as his preferred candidate. But that will be after the break. And very shortly, we should, we'll be back. Please stay with us. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the quality from live from Kaftan Television in Abuja. My name is still Macaulay Honohashi. And uh, still with me in the studio is Maxwell Esegbe, a veteran journalist that has remained in the trenches for decades. And he's also a lecturer uh, with the International Institute of Journalism. Yes. And uh, we are here <coughs> discussing, we are now moving to the international scene. Um, Maxwell, so the viewers, our telephone line will be displayed by our producer. Please do call in so that you can also participate by making the program conversational. There it is on the screen. Maxwell, let's, let's now move to America, the so-called bastion of democracy. There was an attempt on the life of former President Donald Trump and the you know Repub Republican Party uh, nominee for presidency that is slated for November this year. And uh, the news is that just yesterday, Sunday, the, uh, the current president has decided to step aside, to withdraw uh, his re-election bid to the White House. And, you know, following that, he has endorsed his vice president, Kamala Harris, to take over from him. There are so much reactions. President Obama reacted by saying, Biden is a patriotic American, he's a good man. He never doubted his decision, you know, to do that. Even Clinton, uh, former President Bill Clinton also reacted, saying Biden did, took the right decision. But, you know, many people have the belief that if he had taken that decision earlier enough, that would have created a window of, long window of campaign for Kamala Harris to to really slog it out with the most combustible politician in America, that is Donald Trump. What do you think? Yeah, let me quickly look at uh, uh, another issue I talked about, international principles of professional <laughs> 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 of journalism. <laughs> objective reality. Objective reality. Objective, objective, yes, objective, that much. is the fourth one. Mm. Objective reality. Quotation open and close. Mm. Uh, he has been able to prove, re beyond reasonable doubt, that 
it's only in this country that even when your head is telling on you, mm. you will still insist of contesting one political party or the other. Okay. But in America, he has proved beyond reasonable doubt that his head may not be able to stand for the next four, eight years in the next forthcoming. If you take a very statistics, a very close statistics about two, three weeks ago, one of the papers was highlighting so many serious uh, operations he had, you know, the children had on whatever. That is Joe Biden. Yes. Yes. Statistics of his head, and yet the man, the almighty God still made him stand firm to become their president mm. of America. This time around, it may not be able to, he may not be able to stand for another four years. Mm. That is another point. Yeah. Number two, if you look at the opinion poll of America, may not favor him. Mm. These are some of the two cogent reasons why he may, or he has decided now to be able to uh, uh, throw in the tower and say, it may not be up to the, 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 the health issue may not bother him some years back when he was the president of America. But this time around, he does believe that he can no longer. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, that is the most challenges of most Nigerians or African countries. Because most African countries, if you take a statistics, you see some of them will die in the office. <laughs> that is the truth. Yeah, yeah, right. But uh, nobody is yeah, ready right. to tell us the truth, the truth. until the dying minute. Mm. I don't want to give you, let me keep my uh, 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 in a legal term mm. here. We have uh, uh, the one, so many, uh, so many of them, which my colleague, which you know very well, mm. they don't tell us the truth until the die minute, mm. and it should not be so. He doesn't want to, <laughs> but Joe Biden doesn't want to die in the office, and that is why he kept on telling those uh, uh, American uh, citizens that, oh, he has decided to throw in the toilet mm. and to safeguard the life mm. of himself and the family. Uh, Maxwell, I think uh, Joe Biden has everything to thank God for. Yes. He has spent over 50 years in, 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 in the political space. Exactly. You know, in public service. And uh, he has realized that he has made so, many, so, so much gaff, and then the opinion poll is not in his favor. Mm. And, uh, you, know, you, you know, also coupled with his ill health, yeah, and yeah. recently he has also contracted COVID. He's in isolation in Delaware. Yes. And, uh, you, know, you know, like you said, so many African leaders would have, you know, with, without citizenship syndrome, would have decided to remain in office and die and died died in that office. But you know, one my, one of my takeaways from his speech, <coughs> because it, it, he said within the week he's going to give details of the reason why he had to throw in the throw well. But what my, one, one of my takeaways in the brief uh, remark that he, he gave when stepping aside was that he is doing it for the Democratic Party and for the country but here in africa like you said we do it for self not for the country yeah not for the continent and and the real sense of it most african leaders never want to tell you the truth mm. until the, even when they are dying they will still tell us that they are healthy mm. and that's the truth and it should not be so i have never seen i stand to be corrected mm. most african leaders that died in the office. Mm. Nobody, none of them will come up to tell us uh, we are leaving, we are resigning, we are throwing the towel. Mm. They want to die in the office. Mm. And it should not be so. So that is why I'm not surprised about what is happening, about what Joe Biden has been able to do. Mm. Because he doesn't want to die like most African uh, yeah. uh, leaders die in the office. It is honorably. Yes. And I think, and I think one other thing I noticed is that when things are really happening, negatively mm. no african leaders never want they don't want to tell their citizens this is what is happening to them mm, okay yes until even when they are dying they nobody nobody mm. the, the 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 people that are supposed to give us the information technology they will never until mm. the dying minute and i think it's uncalled for okay uh, it's a lesson to us for we Africans, okay. from what we have experienced in the life of Joe Biden, telling us that he's no longer doing, 
So it may not be, it, it, it may be politically motivated. Motivated. But that is the truth. But the major thing, most Africans know that the, the man is not too healthy yes, to yes. continue for the next four, eight years again. Now, uh, let's talk about Kamala Harry, the, the vice pres president of America under Joe Biden. Joe Biden has given her his full endorsement. But that doesn't make her the candidate. She is just his preferred candidate. Yes. Now, the, the Democratic Convention is going to hold uh, on the 19th of August. Mm -hmm. And that's where delegates will, are going to converge and pick, know, their and pick their candidates. There are other governors that are, you know, you know, um, throwing their hearts in the race to pick the party's ticket. That includes the governor of Illinois, Pennsylvania, and uh, Michigan, you know, and other candidates. Now, Kamala Harris has to battle with those people that are indicating interest. And at that convention, the person that will get the the the, the largest, the, I mean, the highest votes will emerge as the candidate. Candidate. Fellow, which to get the highest votes, there are seven hundred super delegates that will also come in to to vote in the second round of uh, the, the voting process. Fellow, which there will be a recycle of voting pattern again. Why do you see, what do you see playing out against Kamala Harris at the my, my my only challenge here towards this their politics is the time. Okay. The time frame. Now, what time would they have to be able to get their own candidate and be able to do campaign all over the place? Okay. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has started. Yes. He has his own candidate. Mm. To advance. Yes. And then the man has been the president before, but because of controversy. He could not come back. Mm. So it's an opportunity mm. for him now to come up and be able to. Because most people, uh, they, 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 they don't forget what he has, the legacy he has laid down before coming. Mm. So this time around, maybe it's an opportunity. My only fear, like I said, um, is the time frame. Mm. What time would they have for Harris now to be able to get at the end of the day to be able to get their own candidates and be able to go around. Remember, they have to visit all these states exactly. and be campaigning. They are uh, uh, political, camp uh, political. Uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, the, 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 uh, yeah, their campaign and then what they want to dish out to mm. members of the manifesto. Of the manifesto that's right. Mm. To put out. That is the problem. But there is an argument that, uh, yes. that uh, Kamala Harris has been on the campaign trail with Biden. So it's going to be a smooth self for That is if the candidacy falls on our shoulders. Yes, that, that, that is why I'm saying that is the time frame. Mm. The time frame, the time may not be, the time may not be uh, conducive yes, for them to move I on mean, and I be able know. to portray and be able to convince and be able to do, do some, uh, what I would call some uh, ability to move people around and be able to lead them to be able to vote for them at the end of the day. Which one would you, will make the Democratic Party have a smooth sell? Is it for them to decide on a very brand new candidate, say, for instance, the governor of Michigan or Illinois, or to give Kamala Harris, who has been there for the past four years with uh, Biden? Yes, it's been, it's been there, and the manifestos are wonderful. They would, uh, they, they, by the grace of God, they will vote for that. But mm. the problem is that, don't forget that uh, uh, Donald Trump, he, he has he, he, he has a way of motivating people. Okay. He has a way of convincing people, and uh, it may not be unconnected because of the way and manner. That's why there was a, a, a substantial attempt on his life some weeks uh, or months back. So you can say you can say because I we, we, most Nigerians most uh, people believe that what. He, the assassination of his uh, life mm. may not be unconnected of the 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 the, the, the majority mm. votes that he believes that he will win at the end of the day. Now, Maxwell, yeah. age, age was one of the dominant issues in the political space in America between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Now, with Biden out of the equation, yeah. so to speak, um, it, it, uh, you know, people say Kamala Harris is coming in with some youthful vibrancy but donald trump has picked uh, uh, a, a vice presidential uh, you know 
running mate mm. who is 39 years old yes. from Ohio, J.D. Vance. Yes. Who is coming, I and mean, he's a first time senator, he's just in his uh, second year as a senator. You know, but he is well experienced in in, in, in in the public space. Yes. What's the what kind of dynamics do you see playing out in regards to this? Yes, politics will be there. They've no, they no doubt about that. Mm. Then two, the the youthful observant too exactly. will be there. And uh, advanced, are you talking yes, about yes. Okay. And ability to to re echo or to reinforce the manifesto, you know, that those things he has not done before. I'm talking about it, you know, Trump, mm -hmm. Trump, right. Those things he has not been able to implement because don't forget that he was earnestly, you know, eager to come back for his second term. But mm -hmm. along the line, he couldn't come up. So this time around, maybe he will use the opportunity to tell most uh, American citizens mm -hmm. that this is what he's ready to do. And this is the last time he will be making efforts to do. And probably that's why he decided to pick this young man to be able to move and be able to convince America. Uh, Donald Trump has, has always been accused of divisiveness yes. and uh, with, uh, using apocalyptic language and uh, also uh, he's the most combustible politician, so to speak, in America. But ever since the assassination, assassination attempt on his life, he has soft pedal. You know, he's, he's, he's very temperamental. Mm. He's very, uh, some people say, uh, the, 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 some of what we have been reading in the paper is he's very arrogant. But mm. don't forget that this is what Americans want. Mm. They want somebody who is vocal, who is temperamental, who is ready to, you know, do whatever and be able to convince them. If he's able to convince Americans, I don't see why the man will not become president at the end of the day. Okay, you, 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 you think so? I, uh, well, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. We are Nigerians. <laughs> we'll be keeping, we'll be watching it on, on, on TV and uh, be know what exactly. But I know uh, the uh, Joe Biden's uh, uh, people will be able to do uh, wonderful things, but I foresee a situation that Donald Trump will still come back. Okay. Looking at the trajectory, do you think Americans are ready for a female president? They are, they, they are ready. They are I'm ready. Sure. Yes, sure. they are ready. Okay. But it's just that the... the the don't forget that volatile don't forget that aspect is, of it. She's half Indian, she's half West Indies. Yes, but she's an American. But what about uh, the, uh, the British? Okay, uh, yeah, look, at British. The, uh, look at the British. Mm. What do we have there? No. Many people will believe that. Uh, we look at the British election. The British yes. election. Uh, the, 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 the the Tory, the Conservative Tory, held sway for fourteen years. Yes, and then you know, um, Rishi Sunak. Pulled the election period backwards to yes. 4th of July yes. this month. And then it was it had a smooth sell. It was seamless. Yes. And then at the end of the day, the the Labour Party won the election. Uh, and then today the Prime Minister is uh Kers, uh Stemmer. Yes. Stemmer. He was congratulated by Rishi Sunak. Yes. And then he was called a, a, you know a patriotic British. And then there was no killing, there was no yes. uh, high neck uh, court cases. Uh, no. Don't, don't have overrule uh, 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 who are being president in America, but there may be political uh, uh, volatile, yes, uh, volatility. Yes, yes. Right. That may not want her to be there. Okay. Uh, it's only in this part of Africa that he, for a woman to become a president, you know, uh, factors, you know, sentiments. Uh, you know, have to be involved. Yeah. The other countries outside uh, Europe, outside Africa, mm. I just don't tell you, Margaret Thatcher was president in um, in UK yes. for years, and she did exceptionally very well. Mm. Uh, today, the reason, even though I, I don't know whether she's still alive, she is alive. Uh -huh. So people use uh, use her as a as a as a as a case uh, 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 case study. So I think uh, there's nothing wrong. It's just the the volatile aspect of it. Mm. Uh, people are too vocal. People are too, uh, you know, too uh, draconian. Mm. I've always like to use the word because people are so sensitive mm. that a woman is there. Can he be able to rule this uh, a great country of ours? If they don't eliminate her, God forbid, mm. I don't see anything why a woman should not be president in America. Okay, talking about uh, uh, your optimism for a woman to be president in America. Now, this question may sound hypothetical. If, that's why I'm, you know, with emphasis on if, <coughs> if Kamala Harris becomes president what kind of america do you envisage hmm. in terms of foreign policy in terms of domestic policy in terms of uh, all the things that will bring expectations of good governance for america yes 
uh, I foresee that uh, she will continue it, with Biden. Yes, uh, it, it, it will it, it will work well. It's just that uh, Biden will be giving her all those necessary things, and then uh, most importantly, African will be able to work in, in that aspect and be able to uh, the African policy because she's black. Yes, because she's black <laughs> and be able to. Uh, be able to help uh, most African countries at the end of the day. Because if uh, uh, Americans actually want her, then I don't see why mm. uh, they should not, uh, she will not be president in the real sense of it. But I foresee a situation that uh, Donald Trump will still come back. You're yes, you're because right. the way manner uh, things are, are going on, uh, he, he has a way of trying to motivate the youth trying to convince the youth, trying to encourage the youth to join him. And you know Americans, they like youth. So okay. they want him, they want him to come back. So I will not be surprised if Donald Trump come back again to become the president of America. North Atlantic Treaty Organization suffered under Trump rule in, uh, in, in, in his four years of, uh, you know, uh, of, uh, yeah, administration. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Joe Biden quoted them. He even had... He even hosted NATO mm. in Washington. Yes. Um, you know, where he made some gaffes, where he wanted to hand over the microphone to President Zelensky of Ukraine. Mm. And I said, I'm handing over to Putin. And then he, also, he, was, he was also trying to introduce his Vice President Kamala Harris. He said, Vice President Trump. So it's one of the reasons why he had to be asked, you know, by Democrats to step aside. Mm. Now, with uh, Trump as president, do you see him reversing any policy with regards to NATO, not Atlantic Trade Organization? It may, it, it, it may reverse some of these things to, to satisfy the curiosity of uh, the Americans, mm. so that they will be able to, he will be able to, you know, those things he, he did during the, the first four years in America, he may decide to change some of them to be able to woo Americans into his own uh, uh, policy at the end of the day. This is okay. the way I look at it. Okay. Mm. Trump's presidency. Yes, uh, but I also foresee another point I'm trying to make here. Yeah? You remember when that um, uh, Washington uh, correspondent was assassinated yeah, in uh, the Saudi uh, whatever? In, in Saudi you Arabia. see the reaction at the end of the day, and uh, his reaction. He was trying to do investigative report at the end of the day, mm. but nothing came out from positive from that. Mm. Uh, uh, most uh, the, uh, journalists all over the world were not too happy Mm. about the action. So these things by affect him at the end of the day. But I foresee a situation with what is happening now, the Americans mm. may push him become, uh, to become uh, the president of their, uh, their choice. Now, for decades, American, you know, Americans have played politics with gun control. Mm. And here we are, you know, they almost lost a presidential candidate, a former president, you know, because of... Uh, through you know through the hands of a 20 year old assassin mm. uh, Matthew Thomas Crooks mm. who is who was killed yes. in the, in the seconds after his attempt on the life of um, Donald Trump Donald Trump what's your view about Americans gun control and what do you think can be done is 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 just that um, they are people they will say they are more advanced mm. some of them have been given license to handle guns. Here's a country where you can just walk into a shop, yes. pick a gun, pay for it, and buy yeah, uh, 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 rounds of ammunition. Yes, it. It, is, it is wrong. I think they should have a way of controlling it. Mm. Otherwise, mon most innocent lives have gone because of these things. And I believe that, uh, you know, uh, Zamfara, Zamfara was yeah. to introduce this kind of idea. You remember? Yeah, I do. I yes, do. that was about two years ago or yeah. last year or so. And uh, uh, there was a report saying that they don't, the military came up and said nobody have the right mm. that we are completely different from the Americans and the, the outside world so the, the Americans have a way because that is part of their culture but here we don't we are not advanced enough to be doing that if we do that here then more, many innocent lives will go so that is for America. But I think the Americans should be able to control so that innocent lives will not go any longer. Uh, Trump was once quoted saying, uh, if he was president and not Biden, the Ukraine, 
Russian war would not have started. What do you think? Yes. That is his own personal what does he say so? Is that about yeah. his relationship with Putin or what? Yes, I think so. But I, I think that should, he is he's just giving an opinion about his own mm. perspective. Everybody has his own opinion. Probably that is his own view. Mm. Most, like, uh, most uh, other uh, 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 world leaders may not put it that way. They may be having different opinions. So uh, that is his own opinion. Mm. Your own opinion or their other opinion or other people may be completely different. Okay. And we leave him with his own opinion. Mm -hmm. But he should be very aggressive because this time around that he's coming back, if he's too aggressive, most Americans, uh, even those planning to kill him, might use the opportunity again. And we don't pray for such a thing. We don't pray for such. Yes, we don't pray for such. <laughs> so we don't pray for such. Yes, we don't, that's what I said. Um, yeah. We don't pray. Yeah. But he should be very careful this time around. Because even that assassination attempt, he never prayed for it. No, he never prayed he for never it. He never prayed for it. He narrowly escaped. Yes, he narrowly escaped. By the whiskers. Yes. So, um, America is in the spotlight. Yes. We are expecting, you know, so much drama within mm. the week. What is the place of Africa, you know, as far as American policy is concerned, particularly if Trump wins this election? You know, right from the onset, when he, uh, Trump, uh, uh, Donald Trump came, mm. he was moving Nigeria uh, within the side. Yes. Have you forgotten? Yes. So I'm not surprised this time around, if he comes around, he'll be able to move Nigeria uh, mm. uh, uh, within. Don't also forget, nobody is an island. Mm. The international community, that is why we are part of the international community. Mm. We cannot be alone. We cannot do it alone. Take for an example the war between Nigeria, uh, between uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. Russia. Mm. We are getting about fifty percent from the from the flour. Yeah. And when they were fighting, bread was so costly here. Not only in, in not only in uh, Nigeria, in Africa, because most of the flour are being supplied here. You know, have you forgotten? Yes, um, no, and no. so these are some, and then bread is our staple food. Mm. In, not only in Nigeria. All over, uh, not all over the world. So I think this time around, then we should be able to liaise with the international community. The international community should also liaise with us. Mm. There are so many things we are getting from them. There are so many things they are also getting from us. Mm. So these are some of the things that nobody is at island. So we should work hand in hand to make sure that Africa move along, and then the national community also move along. Now. Uh, Back to as we wind down, let's talk about illegal migration in America. Trump has not relented in, uh, you know, uh, in, in his position to tackle illegal migration to America because he has accused them of, you know, perpetrating crimes and exacerbating, you know, crisis, economic crisis <coughs> within the, the American, uh, you know, co within the country. And uh, illegal migrants coming from Cuba, from Mexico, and um, other countries in the in the southern part of America, the West Indies. Now, I've listened to Trump a few days ago where he said, the world is going to witness the largest, you know, deportation of migrants in America. What's your take on that? It's control, Macaulay. Mm. It's control. If you remember, you use Ghana and Nigeria as an example. Mm. You remember the time several years back, we said illegal aliens should leave. Mm. And majority of the illegal aliens were Ghanaians. What was the reason? Because of this committing crimes here and there. Thank God, Nigeria and Ghana, we are one today. Now, the same thing, I think, is, is, not, is exactly what Donald Trump is talking about. If they are able to control the issue of uh, migration, no, of, uh, all these things, Everything will be fine. Mm. You can you cannot say people should not go to other countries. There's, it, it, it's never done. Mm. If you look at the international law, you go there, do whatever you want to go, go do, and come back. Mm. We cannot say foreigners should not come to this country. Mm. We only you need to get visa. Yes, you only need to get uh, the necessary papers. If you don't have the necessary papers, get it. And if you don't have it. Get, try to make appreciable, aggressive efforts and getting these papers to make you 
Well, go to other country. Okay. You can you can you can't go to other country without the registry visa mm. or your papers. It is when you get all these papers and get mm. your visa, you can move to other countries. So what they need to do, what mm. Donald, uh, Donald Trump is trying to do, I think, is the ability to be able to control so that there will be no illegal mm. illegal, illegal aliens. Okay. And secondly, to mm. reduce the atrocities, mm. negative effects being perpetrated by different nationals. Okay. Uh, Maxwell Esegui, I thank you so profoundly for finding time to come on the polity this afternoon. Thank you so very much. Many thanks to be here. Uh, well, viewers, that's the size of our package today on the polity. On behalf of Ruben Okala and the entire production team, I thank the vibrant callers that call in to make the program conversational and very, very interactive. My name is Macaulay Honohashi saying bye-bye. See you next time.